All right guys, real quick, I'm at Tractor Supply again. I'm gonna show you these caravan trailers. These are pretty cool trailers. I made a video years ago when I first pulled in here and I saw these sides were folded down and I was, I, it was really the front was folded down and I was wondering, uh, it caught my attention. So I did a video on it and it's a pretty cool idea. Um, but let's go over this caravan trailer. This is a five and a half foot by nine foot caravan trailer. Again, I'm at uh, Tractor Supply. And what I, I like several things about these trailers. One, the price isn't too bad for the for what you get. Now, I've noticed right away this one doesn't have a jack on it, but it might just be missing. They probably haven't put it on there yet, but like this one does. So I believe that price probably comes with a jack. But what's cool about that, being able to uh, take these sides, you have these nice, uh, um, I don't know if it's zinc plated or whatever um, latches. They're pretty heavy duty. You can unlatch it. You can also lock it right there to keep it from being unlatched. But once you unlatch that and you have another one on the rear, this side piece will fold down. It's gonna miss the uh, fender. And what's gonna be cool about that is if you ever were to go to a place to get some a pallet or something, they can load it on the side with the forklift and it's going to be really handy as opposed to if you have your gate up and you have to have your gate down the the forklift can't get to it without running over and tearing up your gate one thing another thing i like about these trailers is this powder coated finish it's really nice feels um i've had a lot of products that i've built over the years and you'd get this crinkle finish type of powder coating it's very durable looks really nice And these fenders are plastic. Now, you got this grating here where it looks like you can step on it. I wouldn't recommend it because you can see just see how easily it'll bend over. Sharp looking wheels, those wheels look really good. Like this one doesn't have, this is a uh, one of those carry-on trailers that they also sell. But it doesn't look like, let's see, does it have the bearing buddies on it? I can't take that off right now. But that doesn't, that's gonna rattle around. Probably fall off eventually. I wouldn't recommend stepping on these. Um, it feels kind of flimsy. I don't weigh a whole lot. I'm probably about 180 and I just don't, it doesn't feel like it's good enough to step on. Nice brackets here, better than those uh, carry-on trailers where it's leaving the light out exposed where it's gonna bust that light look how flimsy this is on these carry-on trailers but this is welded on like this one's just kind of bolted on I mean gosh look at look at this I mean that you're gonna be going down the road that's just gonna be flipping and flopping around uh, th these are nice and solid and welded now look at look at this nice big bracket here nicely built except what I don't like is this very flimsy looking gate. This gate is not gonna last. You're gonna, you're gonna run a regular lawnmower, riding tractor, residential mower on here, and those tires are gonna go right here in that wide spot between these beams here. And this is one by two rectangle, uh, I don't know what gauge that is, but, it's going to start bowing that expanded metal. I see it all the time. Customers come with me, uh, come to me, and I'm fixing their trailer, and I'll add extra, um, you know, members here, runners there to um, braces to help strengthen it up, especially right where your tire's going. They, they should have, they should have, they could have gotten away with just one more by probably taking this one and moving it here and another one here instead of putting one in the middle they're probably trying to figure they probably figured they're doing good by having this is probably about a foot right here but, but have the edge I would have moved this over just a little bit and probably put at least one more in there to really brace it up do not like that about that trailer I guarantee you you're gonna have a problem with that I don't care what you're running up on it it's gonna eventually um, wear out that expanded metal bow it now this hinge that's an interesting way you can take that looks like you could 
easily remove the gate. That would that's pretty cool. Cool little idea. It's nice and loose right now. It's got so much tension on it right here with this this clamp. I could pull this pin out and probably move that over and take and t then uh, um, and take the gate off. That's pretty pretty a nice feature. All right. So right now um, I'm about to look at how these wires are run. And it looks like they're probably running them through this frame. And speaking of this frame, it's pretty beefy. You got, uh, looks like, look, you got some cross members going to the side. And I'm wondering why they only have one offset going the length of the trailer. Like, like so you have that beam there, but you don't have one over here. And speaking of this frame, yep, five inches by two inches and uh, it looks like about like an eighth inch wall thickness there and that one has a piece of wood in it from when they shipped it um, unusual looking axle here it looks like it's galvanized or something that's not raw I look to see but they're running the wires through the frame so that's pretty good and speaking of the frame I noticed it comes up it's flush with this wood so you might not like that you know if you're carrying something sometimes you might you know regular trailers usually have kind of a lip here and so just be aware you might have stuff that would fall out between uh, the tire there because it's just it would just easily roll off if it's not properly secured I do like this how you got this little galvanized it's diamond plate uh, that's galvanized I'm sorry, not galvanized, it's powder coated. Not galvanized. That's pretty nice. So then again, that wiring, got the little side marker light wires coming out through there. And it's fully boxed in frame. And so now you got some nice little rubber grommets here. Wires are coming out through the frame. So you're probably not gonna have many issues with the wiring on these trailers built pretty well flat four plug connector and look it doesn't have the loom like you see on everything else it's actually like a, an extension cord that's really nice so I'm gonna try to give you guys the specs without cutting their zip tie so if you want to pause it to look at the specs there so this is a 2023 model and right here you got those specs and then you can notice the wires going in through another rubber, rubber grommet there. Pretty nice. So that's going to do it for this video on the caravan trailers. Okay, tractor supply. Hope you'll like the video and subscribe. And I'll have more videos like this coming soon, guys. Thanks for watching.